Welcome to Punch Equipment TV, I'm Bruce Townhill and here we've got a review of the entry level punch equipment boxing gloves called our Urban Range. Now the big thing about these gloves is they are proper boxing gloves. So when you go to entry level gloves, uh, I've got to admit there's a hell of a lot of cheating goes on in not just the quality of the materials but also how the glove is shaped and made. Usually this is pressure from chain store supermarket retailers who want you know large margins and they beat the manufacturers down so their entry level gloves are usually pretty poor. Now the Urban Glove is an extremely popular glove because it's a proper boxing glove. The only real difference in these gloves is that we're using an Enduro 35 6X Enduro material. Uh, that's a technical name for this material, it's not a PU, it's a highly durable, very flexible synthetic, not a leather. So that's what gets your price down um, to sort of consumer pricing that people like. Now the rest of the glove is still an authentic boxing glove, full length size glove, which what I mean by the height and the length. The material we've used is exactly the same length as our pro boxing gloves. Now normally what people do is they cheat here, they cut this material down so the glove sticks out a lot further, so the fingers stick out like this and they can get, and because they save on the material they get the price down, their margins go up and they produce a glove that fundamentally um, looks, looks okay but is really crap to wear. Now I'm going to bring in, I don't normally do this, but I'm going to bring in an opposition glove and I've uh, covered up the glove to um, not embarrass them. Now this glove is sold against our Pro, our Urban uh, Synthetic Leather Series and our Pro Leather Series of Urban Gloves. It's a um, synthetic glove, and as you can see, but and it looks similar, and when you put it on your hand it, it feels strange. But on the shelf it's got a nice glossy logo, lots of screen printing, lots of fancy words, and this is sold against an authentic boxing glove in the marketplace. It's sold in Australia, New Zealand, UK, USA. This glove here is a poor imitation of this glove. Now I'll show you why. When we come over here, how they save the money is first of all you see the gloves shorter. I don't know if that's going to show up on the camera, but they've made this glove actually shorter in length. But where they've really saved the money is in the, is in the length of these fingers. So you can see how, I can just get my pinky here, see how I can push that down. That's because the material rolls all the way over the top here. And yeah, that's going to take an extra four or five centimetres of material to do that. I get my picky here. Now I'm pushing really, really hard here and I can't push those fingers down. Now what that means is that when you make a grip, when you try and make a fist and grip your fingers, you're going to be fighting that glove all the time. It's going to fatigue you very badly. These are going to feel really poor on your hands. The foam is really hard as well. So once again, I'm pushing with a lot of force there and I can barely get the fingers down to a fist shape. Here, just using my pinky, it goes down really easily. That's because it's got an injected mould inside that's high grade, just as high grade as our expensive gloves. There's a few things we do take out from our, uh, you know, that would be in our leather gloves for sure. But the, the, fundamentally you've got the full uh, material you've got, and you've got the proper pro injected mould. Here we've got a cheap mould, very stiff and the fingers are sticking out. Now just to demonstrate that, I'll just see if I can show this on the camera to you. The gap in here from that seam to the fingers is 2.5 on the caliper. Now when I get this glove and I put it in here, what we end up with, okay we're going 2.5, let's go out a bit, let's go, keep going, keep going. Okay, we're now, to get to the back of that seam, we're now up to over four centimetres, and I'm being generous. If I really, if I just stretched it out to where I can feel pressure, we're looking at four and a half centimetres. So to bring that glove in to make a fist, you're going to be working extremely hard. It's going to fatigue you. If you're a junior, you're going to hate it, and you have to be able to make a tight fist. Our most expensive gloves work heavily on this feature, and you can make a beautiful fist effortlessly. So we'll take this one away for the same money. You wouldn't have that in a million years and you go to a proper full length injector molded boxing glove from Punch Equipment, full wrap wrist, sewn in thumb tabs, um, commercial grade warranty and recreational warranty. That's the latest artwork. I'd highly recommend these gloves if you're training once or twice a week for fitness, doing a little bit of sparring, you can't go wrong with these at the entry level.